uh, YouTube. It's Tevis from Pursuit of Eden here. Just uh, was trying to get a little bit of film of some of the checks, but uh, it's not really working out. So, oh well, that's fine. Uh, I thought I would just give you a little greenhouse update and especially the global buckets as they are doing exceptionally well here in the greenhouse right now. So, um, hmm, where should I start? Well, here we are at some uh, Martino Roma tomatoes. Um, we have had a lot of rain and cool temperatures this past week and uh, it's kind of slowed things down a little bit. And the tomatoes are sweating. They're, uh, well actually everything is. So I haven't had to water in like a week and a half or something like that and I'm not thinking I'm going to need to water for a while longer yet. But uh, yeah, let me just zoom back here as best I can. There are the Romas, they're doing really well. They're a bush uh, variety, so they'll stay nice and compact. Here is the cucumber, it's doing really nicely as well. Um, really starting to to get going. I'm not sure if any of the uh, fruits that I've been hand pollinating have set. We'll see. I'm kind of hoping there are three of them right down here. And it would be just be great if they did set. We'll see. We still have lots of summer left for them to do that though. Um, let's see here what we've got. We've got uh, the basil. They're not very happy, but I think that's mostly from a lack of sunshine right now. Um, we haven't seen the sun in like a week. So, we'll see. They're starting to yellow a little bit. Same with these ones here. And, uh, here's the little cucumbers. Pretty sure I've got one set in here. You can see right there. I'm pretty sure that one is a set fruit. So we'll see. Um, as far as the peppers go, they're doing okay. Um, we're getting ready for blooms, and I'm sure those will come out just as soon as the sun comes back, which we're expecting late this evening, and probably tomorrow we'll do more sunshine again. So here's the rest, here's the ones that the mice chewed off to the little nubs, they've come back fairly well. Um, another one that the mice got at, this one's come back very, very nicely. And uh, here's a couple more, they're doing pretty good too. So if I spin around here, chickens want to say hi. Say hi girls. They've wanted to stay inside too with the, the rain and less than great weather, so and they want to stay that all the time. Okay, well here are the silvery fir uh, tomatoes. They are just going gangbusters. Um, I'm not sure what it is this year, but last year I had a pitiful, sad crop of these. I think I maybe got three tomatoes. This year I have piles of them. I mean piles of them. Like, look at all those fruits already set. And there's just as many over here. They're all over it. And the blossoms keep going. Um, just a little trick uh, with greenhouse tomatoes. Because we don't have as many bugs and we don't have wind, I like to come along and help them pollinate. So I just uh, tap them a little bit and I just shakes things up and really helps with the pollination. I learned this trick last year and prior to learning this trick we were getting no fruit setting and afterwards just about everything set. So good trick. It's definitely worth worth taking a little bit of time to learn that one. Okay so that's the silvery furs on to the blonde cock gin. This guy, uh, again, last year we didn't do very well with the blondies. Um, I'm sure we should. And this year, uh, well, this is the first year I've had them in the buckets. Last year I just had them in regular containers. Um, but I want to talk about blossoms. Holy smokes, look at all these blossoms. There's, there's just clusters of them like that all over this plant. Well, there's two plants in here, but like, 
just amazing. They're everywhere. If these guys go and set fruit, man, we will have a lot of tomatoes. Anyways, there's one of the blondies. And down over here we have the other blondie, which is kind of set down out of the way. So it's, it's a little slower right now, but it'll come. In the back we have the Russians, and they're blooming and growing and doing what tomatoes do, but they're sure doing it fast. Um, no fruit set on those yet. And the Stupichkas, they are both doing exceptionally well. I have to back up now to be able to get them in the picture. Love that part. So there they are, and they have quite a bit of fruit set on them as well. See those? Yeah, there's quite a bit right there, and then back up behind there a little ways. These ones I've thinned out a lot of the lower leaves so that uh, so that we get more growth and stuff going. So, and one last thing uh, that I'll show you today is these guys. These are nine um, cuttings that I took about a week ago, and I am trying to root here in the greenhouse. They're set down in the shade out of the way so that uh, they don't burn with the sun. Um, they're raspberries, so hoping to really increase our raspberry patch this, this fall. Anyways, that's a bit of an update on the global buckets and the greenhouse. And um, just one last hello. No, they're not going to come out. There's Mama. Say hi, Mama. Okay, well, anyways, if you like this, just uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.